So if you want to create an online course, or maybe you've got an online course, but it's not selling as easily as you thought it would, well, by the end of this video, you are gonna have a clear game plan on how to create an online course that consistently sells. And if you don't know me, I'm Emma Dewey, and I support parenting specialists and sleep consultants to build online courses so that they can make more of an impact and build truly sustainable businesses. And I work with thought leaders in the parenting niche to build their signature programs, generating multiple six figures and have helped hundreds of professionals at this point to scale their businesses. And I've also been able to scale my own training agency, Baby M, significantly over the last five years, scaling online. But I've made a ton of mistakes testing different things and different structures, which is why I wanted to make this video for you to ensure that you don't waste a ton of money or time and make those very same mistakes. And if you're wondering if the online course industry is worth looking at, well, this is an industry that is projected to be valued at 374 billion US dollars by 2026. Yep, you heard that right. So now, before I get into the key steps for creating an online course that sells, I wanted to share an important trend that I'm now seeing with online courses that worked five years ago and definitely does not work now. And I'm gonna share why that isn't the case. Before we get into all of that, the entire mission behind this channel is to help sleep coaches and parenting specialists to build online businesses that truly make the impact that they have set out to make, as well as building freedom, money, and ease into their lives. And so one small thing that you can do to help us reach more people is hit that like and subscribe button. All right, so. Let's do this. So one of the reasons why I love online course businesses is because you can truly scale your impact and build a business that feels joyful doing what you love. And this model has truly changed my life. But one of the trends I've seen recently, even more so in the last year, is that small information driven courses that really just share tactics are not doing as well as they used to. So courses that might be just sharing key strategies or kind of what I call how to courses. And the reason for this is that there is just so much information freely available online. Like people just aren't willing to pay for tactic driven information led courses even for a course that's really really affordable and what is key when creating a course that actually sells is creating a course that focuses on the transformation that you're helping someone to achieve because ultimately people pay to achieve a transformation they're not just paying for all the information that you can possibly put in that course. It's about taking someone from zero, their zero state, so where they feel most frustrated and in pain, to their hero state, where they feel happy and it's like they've achieved their desired result, the transformation. What are the three steps that we're gonna cover that's gonna help you create a course that makes a huge impact and actually sells? So number one, you are gonna discover how to create your unique course a niche. Number two, how to sell and test your course idea. Number three, how to turn your course evergreen so your clients can access it at any point and you can also sell it around the clock. Okay, so let's get into how to create your unique course and niche. Now, one of the biggest mistakes I see people make is that they pick a broad topic to focus on, for example, sleep. And the other aspect of that is picking a niche simply because it has a lot of perceived opportunity. So you think someone else is targeting working parents or parents working in corporate, so I'm gonna do that as well. The reason why this doesn't work anymore is because of what I mentioned earlier. Like there's so much information out there. So if you just dive in and have no differentiating factor, you're gonna really struggle to stand out and sell and scale your course. And what we know to be true is that the riches are in the niches. And I know that sounds cheesy, I'm from the UK, so technically I should be saying niches, but well, there is a ring to it. And so you want to find that niche, not by randomly choosing it, but by really going through a process of tying it to your unique personal story. And to give you an example, one of my clients who's a lactation consultant, Alice Luckin, she created a program supporting parents with unsettled babies to really understand the root cause of their child's discomfort and empower them to parent their unsettled baby with confidence. And I'm so proud of her because she has created a program that has literally changed the lives of families. People who thought 
there was no hope. And why she's so good at this is because she had that direct experience with her own child who was extremely unsettled. So she understands the emotional effect that this can all have on you. She knows what it's like to feel unheard and with her education and her experience she was able then to go on and work with families on a one-to-one -one basis and support them uh, but now she's able to scale that by running an online program supporting those families with unsettled infants and every single person has a unique course inside of them because you're unique and your story is unique to you and a way to think of this is that you are the hero of your story so if you were to create the story of your life how'd that story go? And a powerful exercise is to ask yourself these six key questions to get to the root of your course niche. So the questions are, what is a problem or obstacle that you've overcome or solved for yourself or someone else? What do you specialize in in your career? What do people seek you out specifically to help them with? And what do you get most excited about? And what's a skill that you have mastered? And finally, what are the strategies that in your one-to-one -one service you repeat over and over and over again? And to expand on that last point, well, I went from being really burnt out running a training agency where we were doing all the things. We were running courses all over the world. I was helping organizations build courses and market them. And I nearly quit my business after the birth of my little one. And I gave myself one year to turn my business around, to niche down, to build courses online, and to create a business model that worked for me and for my family. And I did. And then I had people in the sleep and parenting niche approach me and ask me to do what I'd done for myself, but for them. So to build and scale their signature courses. And so I started to do that. But I found that I was basically repeating the same strategy with each client. And I would customize it a little bit, I would tweak it, but the formula was pretty much the same. So rather than just doing that on a one-to-one -one basis and having to lay out that strategy and build out courses and you know build out launch strategies, I wanted to package that knowledge and create something that sleep consultants and parenting specialists in my niche could use as a guide to get their genius out there in the world. But without needing to work with me on a one-to-one -one basis and where I could coach them through implementing all of the steps. And that whole process is empowering because clients get to go at their own pace and they get to access me as and when they need me, but I'm not repeating the same strategy time and time again. So when you're getting clear on your niche, you want to be able to share this with your audience so they know exactly who it is that you serve, how and what you're gonna help them achieve. And really, this is something you wanna be able to share everywhere, your website, social media, you know, emails, and I love this because it cuts straight to the transformation that you're helping your clients achieve. And we know people want to invest in the transformation that you're helping them achieve, not the amount of information that you're going to give them. So to do that, you focus on who it is that you serve, where they are on their journey, what specific challenge are they facing, and what specific outcome do they want. So in my case, with my program, Scan and Thrive, I help sleep consultants and parenting specialists to go from feeling overwhelmed working with clients on a one-to-one -one basis to building a business model that doesn't rely on them and doesn't mean that they're on all of the time. And they're gonna do that specifically by leveraging online programs. And that is really tied to my journey where I went from being burnt out, overwhelmed, working with clients on a one-to-one -one basis or working in groups um, at set times to building a business model that didn't really rely on me being on all of the time. And to do that, I was utilizing online courses. So hit that like and subscribe button if this is starting to make sense. And you know, feel free to drop any light bulb moments that you are having in the comments below. So when you create your course, it's going to take people from the zero to the hero state. And your curriculum is going to be the steps needed to get from the zero to hero stage. And you want to do that as efficiently as possible, like stripping out all the content that is not needed. And one of the things all my clients do inside of Scale and Thrive is that they interview real human beings to really understand their ideal client's desires, their challenges. And they do that because we want to ensure that the courses that they're creating are the best out there. And they want to make sure 
sure that they are really going to help their clients achieve the transformation that is needed. And you can do that when you truly have spoken to lots of people, like you understand the language that they're using, what they need, their desires, their challenges, like everything is covered. So you also wanna go online and research who your ideal client is. So join relevant Facebook groups, you wanna contact people on Instagram and look at book reviews, um, you know, look at what people love in those reviews, look at what people are saying is missing, look at, conferences and other courses that are out there that are helping your idle client and look what people are searching for online. Okay, number two, sell and test your course idea. So what do you actually need to be able to do in order to achieve this. Now, one of the things I get my clients to do is pre-sell their course because one of the biggest mistakes I see people make is thinking that they have a great idea and then spending a ton of money and time creating a course from that idea. And the problem is they have no proof that it's going to work, no client feedback. And I say this out of love because I have made this mistake so many times and it feels like an uphill battle. It's hard to gain that momentum and it's literally the hardest way to try and get your online business out there. And I dive into all of that during this video here. So I recommend just getting clear on the transformation that you help people achieve and the key steps. So your formula to help people to go from that zero state to so where they are currently to where they want to be. So what you're going to do is get this program out into the world fast. You're selling it and you're going to deliver it live for the first round of your course and you often offer it as a discounted rate. But I call this essentially your BBP model. It's your beta parenting program. It's just a prototype of your course because what we're trying to do is just get real human beings testing it, get that cash injection into your business, and for you to feel truly confident about your offer and get those testimonials. And that's the thing that's going to enable you to put out a course that you know is gonna sell, and then you're gonna have that social proof as well. And if you take any wildly successful business, you're gonna see that they have adopted this very same process. So testing the offer before launching. Uh, a great example is the iPhone, which has gone through so many variations and it started off as a device that you could only make a call on. And now you can literally run your whole life through it. So it's been fine tuned like year after year after year. So like the iPhone with your course, you're gonna have to make updates and and iterations over time. That is just part of the process. Anyone who tells you something's truly evergreen, you never need to touch it, well, it's just not the case. Uh, so how do you actually sell your course? And what are some of the simple ways that you can do this? Okay, so a very simple way to think about this is that once you know the outcome of your course and the problem that you're solving for your client, you can follow these really effective steps that even if you don't have an audience, like they work. So you want to create content that is free online and on social media and in your emails as well. And that content needs to be directly relevant to the problem that you're solving in your paid program. And from there, you're going to always mention your paid course in your free content to drive traffic from all of these different places on the internet to your paid course. So I've done that in this video that you're watching right now. I do it in my webinars. I do it in all the content that I put out. And that content is directly linked to what I'm selling. So it's really focused. I'm not just kind of creating anything. It's all related to my program. So the next thing is you want to create content that speaks to your clients heads and also their hearts. So we've got how to content where you share strategies and tips thought reversal content where you tackle a limiting belief that's holding your ideal client back. Connection content, so sharing your story, your journey, and of course this goes back to your, your personal zero to hero journey, so people can really connect with you, they can see that you have gone through everything that they're going through. And you also wanna share client results, which you will have because you've created your BBP program, your beta program. So you can you can do all of this from very, very early on. You don't have to wait to have this polished and perfect program. 
Now the third and final part is turning your course evergreen so your clients can access it at any point and also you can just sell this round the clock. So basically what you're doing here is creating a business that works for you, a truly sustainable business. And building an evergreen business is amazing because you get to detach time from money and you can work with lots of people who are buying into the value of your program. You're not charging per hour. But remember, it's key that you have followed the process that I shared in step one. So niching down and really understanding who you're targeting and the transformation that you're providing. So you have tested your offer and you have proven your offer and you know that it's getting your clients results. And now you can take what you've learned and take all that feedback, make those edits, change things around a little bit and make it even better than the first round of your offer. And then what you do is you record it, you prepackage it and then you put it out there onto your course platform. Now on the subject of platforms, there are tons out there. However, we personally use Searchy and I like the fact that Searchy is video based, uh, it creates the transcription automatically, it links to Canva so there's no need to pay for someone to design your site and it's really responsive so it's really easy to use Searchy across different devices. So Searchy gets a big thumbs up from me but Truly, there are tons of platforms on the market. And in fact, I'd be really interested to know if you want me to create a video on the different types of websites that are out there and what to choose and when. So let me know below. All right, so now you're at a place where you've created a sustainable business and you have packaged your program into a self-study course that clients can access and learn from at their leisure whenever they need it. So if a client needs you at three o'clock in the morning, well, they can access your content and they don't need to wait for you. And the other thing I recommend is that you build a community around your course where clients can connect with each other and cheer each other on and where people can feel truly accountable. So it's a private community for your course. And you also wanna offer some coaching as well. So it's where you can help people dig into your program a little bit deeper and help people achieve that transformation more quickly. So you're basically providing customized support around the curriculum that you have provided. And the beauty of this whole model is that the business runs itself and you get to focus on going deep with clients in your program without actually having to repeat the same process time and time and time again. And what I love about this model is that you have more time in your business, so you have time to focus on finding more clients. And the great thing is, is because you've done all that research, you know where to find your clients. You're not scrambling around trying to find them or react or create content and just randomly think of things. You've done so much research and you've planned this out so carefully that actually the whole process is really logical and it's simplified. And honestly, that just means that you're running a business that feels joyful, it feels predictable, and that's a great place to be. But am I saying this is all easy? No. Am I saying this takes time? Absolutely, it does take time. It takes a lot of effort. It takes results in order to really get your online business to a place where it's selling consistently and it's growing consistently. But is it doable? Absolutely. And I wanted to share a really amazing result from one of my clients, Carla Legg. She's a sleep consultant based in New Zealand and she runs a program supporting mothers with infants under the age of 18 months who are looking for a responsive way to parent their child. So when she went through the process of running her BBP program, so the beta version of her program, she got 18 people into her program in less than 10 days. And that was a month's income like that. And when she started with me in this program, she was burnt out, she's working upwards of six days a week, and now she's been able to reduce her hours to nearly three and a half days a week. And she shared that was literally the first time in her business that she has been able to take that amount of time off. So I love this story because it happened in less than four months. And that's what's so powerful about online programs. Like they can change the lives of your clients and they can change your life 
and your business as well. So if you are ready to do just that and you're ready to take action, then there's a link below this video to apply for the program Scan and Thrive and schedule a call with us. And we like to chat to each and every person who's interested in joining our program because, well, we wanna make sure that we're the perfect fit for each other. And really for you to know that this is not a magic pill, like you have the blueprint in front of you it works, but you have to be ready and willing to do the work. So if you're interested in scaling your business online and scaling your impact, then click the link below. Okay, so I've dropped links to all the resources that I've mentioned in today's video that I think you're gonna find really, really helpful. And like I said, my mission with this channel is to support parenting specialists and sleep consultants to get their genius out into the world and also create a business model that truly works for them. So if you found this useful, do give it a like and let me know what you found useful. And thank you so much for listening and I'll see you in the next video.